Devri Hayamim Arishon, 1 Chronicles 23. So when David was old and full of days, he made Eth Shalomah, his son, king over Yashara'el. And he gathered together Eth all the princes of Yashara'el with the priests and the Leviim. Now the Leviim were numbered from the age of 30 years and upward, and their number by their poles, man by man, was 30 and 8 thousand, of which twenty and four thousand were to set forward the work of the house of Yahuwah, and six thousand were officers and judges. Moreover, four thousand were porters, and four thousand praised Yahuwah with the instruments which I made, said David, to praise therewith. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, namely Gershon, Kohath, and Marai. Of the Gershonim were Ladan and Shemi. The sons of Ladan, the chief was Yachi El, and Zetham and Yoel, three. The sons of Shemi, Shalomith and Chaziel, and Haran, three. These were the chief of the fathers of Ladan, and the sons of Shemi were Yechath, Zina, and Yeish, and Bari'ah. These four were the sons of Shemi. And Yechath was the chief, and Ziza the second. But Yeish and Bari'ah had not many sons. Therefore they were in one reckoning, according to their father's house. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Yitzar, Chevran, and Uziel, four. The sons of Amram, Amra, rather, the sons of Amram, Ahran, and Moshe. And Ahran was separated, that he should sanctify the most holy things, he and his sons forever to burn incense before Yahweh, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name forever. Now concerning Moshe, the man of Elohim, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moshe were Gershom and Eliezer. Of the sons of Gershom, Shavuel was the chief, and the sons of Eliezer were Rechav Yahu, the chief, and Eliezer had none other sons, but the sons of Rechav Yahu were very many. Of the sons of Yitshar, Shalomith, the chief, of the sons of Hevran, Yeriyahu, the first, Amar Yahu, the second, Yachaziel, the third, and Yacham Am, the fourth. Of the sons of Uziel, Mika the first, and Yishiyahu, rather Yishiyahu the second, the sons of Marii, Mel- Machli, and rather the sons of Marii, rather the sons of Marari, Machli, and Mushi, the sons of Machli, Eleazar, and Kish. And Eleazar died and had no sons but daughters, and their brethren, the sons of Kish, took them. The sons of Mushi, Machli, and Edar, and Yerimoth, three. These were the sons of Levi, after the house of their fathers, even the chief of the fathers, as they were counted by number of ma- name, rather, by number of names by their poles, that did the work for the service of the house of Yahuwah from the age of 20 years and upward. For David said, Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael has given rest unto his people that they may dwell in Yerushalayim forever. And also unto the Levim, rather the Levim, they shall no more carry at the tabernacle nor at any vessels of it for the service thereof. 
For by the last words of David, the Laveim were numbered from 20 years old and above. Because their office was to wait on the sons of Aharan, at, rather for the service of the house of Yahweh, in the courts and in the chambers, and in the purifying of all holy things, and for the work of the service of the house of Elohim, both for the showbread and for the fine flour for meat offering, and for the matzah cakes, and for that which is baked in the pan, and for that which is fried, and for all manner of measure and size, and to stand every morning to thank and praise Yahweh, and likewise at evening, and to offer all burnt sacrifices unto Yahweh in the Shabbatoth, in the new moons, and on the set feasts by number, according to the order commanded unto them, continually before Yahweh, and that they should guard at the watch of the tabernacle of the assembly, and at the watch of the holy place, and the watch of the sons of Aharan, their brethren, in the service of the house of Yahuwah.